Hey everyone, I'm Siona here to talk to you about journaling. So when we think about journaling, I know many people think of writing a diary, our day-to-day -day thoughts and feelings and emotions written down. And it's reflective and it is a type of journaling, but there are quite a few other types. There is also dream journaling, another popular one where you write down your nightly dreams every morning. So either didn't dream, can't remember my dream, or I had superpowers where I made cats rain from the sky, blah, blah, blah. And then you can always try to think back like, what was my subconscious trying to tell me there? A few other interesting types of journaling that I don't hear about too often are uh, quote journaling and gratitude journaling. Quote journaling is where you take quotes, sayings, things that you've heard throughout the day, either from books, TV, friends, family, advertisements, thoughts that pop in your head and you write them down. So that way you have something to look back at and think of and just be like, wow, oh, that was really cool. Or, oh my gosh, look, remember when you said this when we went to Disneyland? That kind of thing. Uh, gratitude journaling is when you write down things that you're thankful for or good things that have happened. And of course, then you can, again, look back at them later. Um, one popular way I've seen people kind of do this, instead of having it, <clears throat> instead of having it written down in a specific place or journal, they'll write it down on a sheet of paper or like a little strip and then you write down and like i saw this band in concert and this day or gratitude so and so gave me this whatever makes you happy they'll fold it up into a star or just crinkle it up and then they'll put it into a not in the not in the tea. They put it in a mason jar or something else that they can look back at the end of the year and be like, wow, these things happened. And then you end the year on a really good note. If you travel a lot, there's also travel journaling. Now, this is kind of, I think of it as like scrapbooking, um, where you put down a ticket of what you did or pictures um, or write about the bus trip you took. You can also do travel journaling based on where you want to go. My tendency for journaling is using it as a tracker. Uh, some examples. During the summer, I need to remind myself to drink more water. So part of my journal will be a water tracker, like how much water did I drink on this day. Um, I also use it as to-do lists, like I want to do this thing on this day. Don't forget about your appointment here. So kind of like a planner slash to-do list slash whatever I need it to be to organize my life. So I just kind of put it under that huge header of tracker. Now, journaling doesn't have to be exclusive to text-based. There are quite a few people who use it um, for pictures and art. So art journaling, definitely a thing. Uh, one of my friends, draws a picture every day of the year and can flip through, flip back, and see how their drawing has improved or changed throughout the year. <clears throat> uh, but also art journaling could be uh, journaling a specific time during that day that you want to remember. So it's still a diary, but you're doing your diary through art instead of a letter or just freeform writing. There is also art journaling done as collages. So you're taking your own artwork that you're drawing or things from scrapbooking books or from magazines and using those materials to express what your day was or what your dream was or what your aspirations for the future are. And those ones are really cool looking. So let's recap. <laughs> because there's a lot going on here. Types of journaling. You have the diary, tracking device, travel journal, dream journals, quote journaling, gratitude journaling, honestly whatever you can think of. I think the best place to start with journaling, if you decide you want to journal, is you need to know why you're journaling. 
do you want to put your thoughts down? Is this another place to express yourself? Is this where you want to put your art to track how you're doing in that regard? Uh, is this a place for your dedicated schedules or are you trying to track something specific like your mental state, water tracker? <sighs> really, so many reasons to journal, but you just need to kind of figure it out, not narrow it down because you can journal so much. You could have multiple journals for multiple things or you could track multiple things in just one journal. But once you figure out what you're journaling, then you can figure out the way you want to journal and what will work for you. I think the two ways that I consider journaling right now is uh, freeform, where you just kind of, you get your journal and you do whatever you want at the time. And then I think of the opposite end of the spectrum as the bullet journal technique where you're very organized, very dedicated, and there's so much that people track and do with the bullet journal, uh, which I'll kind of touch on a little bit later. Okay, so now we know about the types of journaling, the ways to journal, and hopefully you have an idea of what you want to journal. This is where I think a lot of the fun of journaling comes in. This is the part I like a lot besides actually buying the journal. I do use journaling as an excuse to buy stationery, so this next step is very fun for me. Um, and that is decorating the journal or finding a cute journal for what you need. Once you know what kind of journaling you're doing, you can figure out what and how you want to decorate it. Or you can just make it look cleaner than how it would normally look. So once you decorate your journal, it is personalized to how you want it to be. It is time to start journaling. I am going to show you how I journal. Uh, I do want to mention bullet journaling again though. Um, but with bullet journaling, you tend to start with your year stuff. So you will say like 2020 and then you put down each month on the page and potentially what you want to do those months or just even the dates so you know you can always look at your calendar there then you go into and you draw up your month so july sorry i had to think about what month it was july 2020 You'll make your calendar, you'll put in your dates or things you want to do on those dates. Uh, then your notes or your dreams for the month, give yourself some space. And then after that, it goes into your week. So I find that too constricting. I tend to not use the month and the year portions. So I'm going to show you my week, how I do weeks. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm going to show you how I set up my um, tracking type of journals. So, first things first, and this I did pull from, from bullet journaling, I give myself a key. I, I do like to add little cuteness to it. Um, so, to start with, I have a blank square, and that is my to-do list, this is something, whatever gets this square next to it is something that I need to do. When I fill in the square, that means it's completed. If I put an X through it, that means I missed it or I'm no longer doing it. Of course, I could always separate these, but for my purposes, this works. And this here is my asterisk. It is supposed to be an asterisk. Um, that's when something is important, really need to be done, or just something I need to remember. And then the little dot, that's just a note, just something fun. Now, originally I was setting this up to be more like a bullet journal. So I gave myself some extra pages for a table of contents. So this is something really cool if you want to use like the entire journal or be able to find things really quick, especially if you're looking back at this later. So. If you want to do a table of contents, totally recommend it. You'll just table of contents, 
and then put the title of the page, whatever you title it later, and then the number. And then you give yourself enough pages that you can do this throughout the book. And of course, your pages might not come numbered, so you would have to go through and number them all. What did I have before? Look, we're looking at January 2019. Uh, so obviously, I did not do very good with this journal before because I lost it over a year ago. Um, okay, so at this time, I wasn't exactly sure what I was doing, so I was playing with a few different formats. To start with, I had week one and then just the days. Then I had week two, and I gave myself a really cute banner here, and then I did the posts that I wanted to do for my book blog, and then the days of the week of when I wanted to do them there. Week three is when I started to realize I wanted more space for what I was doing, and I spread it out this way. What am I going to be doing now? Because this journal is going to be my overall trucker for every and all things in my life. So I want to give myself a lot of space. So I'm thinking that I will use both pages as a one week spread. When you start to set up your spread, whether it be monthly, weekly, what have you, this is when you can start getting really um, nitpicky with it. So you can measure across how long it is this way and how far it is this way, and you can divide things up precisely and exactly, and that will make it very pretty. We are just going to have a wee bit of fun. I tend to start with a pencil and then go over with a pen later because I always make mistakes. So let's say this is the first week of July. Mm, seven days in a week. I'll probably do four squares here, four squares here with one for future items. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, future. Um, okay. So I'm also hoping that the more I decorate it, the more I will use it, right? Because that sounds like a sound thing. If you put the effort into it, right? Okay. All right, so my week. I have the days, you could even do lines. I know some people will put use the washi tape as dividers between lines or between days, excuse me. So we could do that, or you can use a highlighter. So as I said, I tend to use these as a to-do list. So going back to my key, I can have one open square, and that will be film video. Considering I am filming this video, I am well on my way. So this is when you also kind of decide, do you want to keep the spaces over here clean or do you want to use them for something? I will use them, I think, to track water because during the summer I know I need to drink more water and I do not. So, I am giving myself glasses, and maybe we'll just do boxes for now. Okay. So we will see. For Monday, we will track it this way, and you know what? Let's do something different for Tuesday, because who knows? Maybe I will want to do something different. If you also want to get a little bit more in depth with your tracking, you could track the weather and your mood. So let's do that for Monday. We'll create just a little aside here. Just give myself some squiggly lines. And then I'm going to do a sun 
and cloud combo and happy face. And then this is where at the end of the day I will write weather. I will put down whatever I want to about the weather and then I can put down mood. And then so I with this amount of space I probably don't have too much to write specifics or go in depth but for now I don't know if I would even want to so I'm starting out small but what if you wanted to do something different so every week you have your basic tracker like that but sometimes I like tracking differently something else weekly thoughts this is where you can put down your journaling or your diary or reflective pieces your mood throughout the week or month whatever you want and as i said i use a weekly journal format because it works best for me but of course you can do month year but i thought i would show some other options you could do especially if you want to be more creative um perhaps not on a weekly basis but you could do yearly monthly what have you you could track books or movies that you've partaked with <laughs> books that you've read movies you've watched um i like doing books because i can do this cute little bookshelf at the bottom with the plant because it makes me happy and these would be i don't know maybe the books that i liked the most for that month or year and then that leaves me the top to list everything that I've read and put a star rating or if it was an audiobook. So this is my habit tracker. Um, I have one month, but again, you can do multiple habits you wanna check off. And as you do them daily, then you just X off the day. And then at the end of the month, you can see how well you are doing to build up those habits. All right, so now that I've told you about some of the different types of journaling and ways that you can journal and showed you some fun ways that you can customize your journal to make it work best for you, it is now your turn. So I hope that you can find a system that works best for you. All right, enjoy.